today I wanted to talk a little bit about organizing overwhelm. And by that, I don't mean the typical day-to-day -day overwhelm that causes you to want to be more organized, but the fact that it's around New Year's and so many people are talking about challenges and getting organized and letting go of clutter and planning and using a different planner and accomplishing more goals and crushing your goals and all that stuff. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, it can get to the point where it feels like you need to do everything all at once. Uh, and it's not easy to do that. And so you lose motivation and you give up on your resolution or your goals and you don't actually get them done because it got overwhelming, just the process of getting it done. So I wanted to give you some hints. And one of the things I have on the website, morethanorganized.net, is a five things to um, help you declutter fast or to make organizing easier, if you will. And it's not so much that you can declutter quickly. Um, it's more that you can finish the project more quickly and stay motivated to complete a project than making some sort of magical wand, which I actually got myself a magical wand over Christmas. Do you guys have magical wands? I do. <laughs> it's very pretty. It's kind of slow today. It's cold. Um, but instead of just waving a magic wand and making all the clutter go away, it's the five things you need to actually think about before you start decluttering so that you declutter properly for you. Um, it's not about other people's ideas. It's not about what containers you need. It's about why you want to get organized in the first place. And when you know that, when you are really clear what your desired outcome for the organizing project is, or the goals that you're setting in the first place, why are you doing those things? Taking the time to figure out your why, your big picture why, and connecting those actions that you're going to need to take to achieve that goal, making sure those actions are in line with your goals and, and your values and what you really want your life to be like is what allows you to do it easier. It becomes so much easier to reverse engineer all the different organizing things. So the other thing I wanted to to point out, um, and you can get that that um, worksheet on morethanorganized.net under the free resources. You can see all the things that help you connect to your why and what you're going to um, be able to do on the other side of organizing. But I wanted to talk a little bit about what other people's organizing challenges and suggestions and methodologies mean around the new year. So first of all, challenges are great if you're using them to develop a habit. Challenges in a vacuum just to um, win a prize or to think that it's a one and done don't work. So make sure that when you pick a challenge to, to work through, to pick one that helps you develop the habit because that's what a good challenge should do. Have a reward at the end of the challenge so that you continue the behavior, not that you're done with that behavior forever after. Um, the other thing is, especially when it comes to planning and goal setting, there are some basic tenets that come into play. You have to develop better habits and you need a cue and a reward and a plan for overcoming the obstacles in the midst of developing the habit to make them stick. But often a lot of these planners are just reiterating the same thing. The set a smart goal, crank it out, write it down, book your time down to the second, whatever that is. And it doesn't take into account different people's personalities, their capacities um, in terms of energy and other things going on. And or it it's just a checklist where you check things off and you're crazed and you don't really pay attention to why you're doing the things or finding ways to make them easier for you in your situation. So not everybody thinks the same way. And that's why having a professional that's really good at productivity systems or organizing systems can help you find the right ones that work for you, that will work for you, that make your life easier on a day-to-day -day basis. 
So I just wanted you to be aware of that. And if you get frustrated doing some sort of organizing program or um, setting some goals and not reaching your goals, we can take a look at that. We can think about what is it about this particular process that is um, causing a block for me? Is there some sort of underlying belief that I'll never end up being successful? And so I give up too soon? Or did you not plan ahead for the obstacles on the way to developing new habits because someone left that out of their system or the way they explain it? Um, so don't get frustrated. Try again. Keep trying. Keep researching. Keep figuring out what might work for you. Not at the expense of procrastination. I still want you to be taking action, but sometimes the actions are small and thought-provoking or um imagining how things can be different and how you would do it yourself. So if you're coming up against obstacles in getting some of these New Year's resolutions or goals taken care of, look at where um, you're experiencing the resistance to the process and see if it's about you or if it's about the person that developed the process in the first place, not quite understanding how you think or how you work. Um, and figure out how you would reverse engineer it yourself. How would you approach it? Our brains love to solve problems. So if it's a problem, take the time to actually think through a, a solution and then do that. It might be the key you've been looking for. What is your inner voice telling you to do to make that work? All right. Hope this helps. Um, we're mixing things up a little bit this year. I'm going to be giving you a lot more mindset stuff um, and incorporating it, how our brains work. So as always, the streamlined connection makes it all work together. The organization, the streamlining, um, the productivity and the mindset. So let's get it all working together, shall we? Um, in the meantime, have a delightful day and I'll see you next week. Bye.